Okay. And first of all, I just want to thank you. You're welcome, for buddy. the information. Thank you. You know, a, a lot of people take this as just something to do. And my wife and I, we're, we're actually seriously considering it as a full-time business. Okay. Um, right now, we're leasing a, um, a beautiful um, Chevy Impala LV2 that we're lucky enough to get that we lease from. Um, he's actually got this car into select. The problem that I've been having, because I, I do it part-time, full-time, I'm a, I'm a supervisor at a call center here. Okay. I'm really thinking about going full-time with this because I've always been a people person. I've been a finance manager, sales manager, um, and I know how to build clientele. Good. So I'm just thinking, you know, I know that North Scottsdale um, is actually a great area. Uh, I usually work there on the weekends at night. Yes, but yes, very busy. If I'm going to do this full-time, uh, I'm considering, like, being up in that area um, at, like, 4 or 4.30 in the morning. So yeah. I can at least get a couple of select rides to start my day. Yeah. Um, you want to... I Chandler, I get none. Okay. Um... So, so you 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 leasing the vehicle? Who you, are, you, are you leasing it from uh, the dealership, or are you leasing it through Uber? No, I'm leasing it from a guy who has um he has a small fleet of vehicles. Okay, like he me, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, cool. Like. And, he, and he's trying to. He was like, uh, if you're gonna do it full time, I think you should go into a suburban. Okay. But, a suburban, right a, a suburban in in Arizona. I mean, I mean specifically in Scottsdale and Phoenix is 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 rather tough. Because what what's happening is that the XL category, um, the people now realize they can get the same amount of people or more into a minivan at a far far lesser price, and I'm talking like half the fare, right? So the SUV, the SUV categories really work in major metropolitans like Chicago, New York, and LA. Um, I would I would strongly advise against it. Um, uh, and, and unless you were to go out and buy, let's say, a Suburban, Escalade is a little bit on the expensive side, and then you would actually go and set up your own LLC company and your own limo company and do both sides, Lyft, Lyft SUV, Lyft Plus, Uber SUV, uh, Uber XL, uh, and then your Lyft company. So the car, the, S the SUV would drive in about four categories, but at the same time, You'd be building up like I did over four years a good base of clients for the for the limo company. Uh, that right. that's the big money maker. That's the big picture. Um, as long as you um, are comfortable with the amount that you're spending on the lease and you're seeing the returns. When I say that, I mean like okay, you know what your weekly fees are uh, for that vehicle. Um, and then if you look at your earnings, if it still makes sense, that's great. But if you start calculating what you are spending with this guy every four weeks, you know, you, you then have to look at the fact, hey, do I go out and buy a used car? You don't have to buy a new car, but I mean like a, a low mileage used car. Or do I keep I'm on... I'm actually looking at a, um, a Buick Enclave because I know that that car can go into Select and I can use it as an SUV for Uber. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, just just make sure with them again with a hub that you pretty much um, record it or get it in writing that they will allow that in SUV. Uh, there's there's a lot of uneducated people at these hubs that will just quickly try and excite you and say yes, and then you go ahead and buy it. Um, uh, you know, I, I always tell the people just record it on the phone. They don't have to know it. Put it in your pocket um, okay. and then just record it because um, I've I've helped a few people out of those SUV headaches where management turned around and said, no, sorry, we never said that. And so hang on, here's the proof. So they, they, for, they were forced to let the driver into that category. It's, um, there's just a lot of uneducated people at the hubs. You want to try and buy, bypass them and go straight to a manager and say, hey, listen, I'm, I'm thinking of seriously getting this car, but I need to know from you, will it fit in this and this and this category? And then and then get some like some answers, right? Because I mean that's a big that's a big step for it's a big investment, right? Yeah, it's a used one. It's a 2011. Okay. Um, now, and and now, now they automatically, I would say again, look at the model, be, uh, look at the year, because in in LA, it's yeah. now it's it's 2012 and newer, so that 2011 might not even qualify 
for your SUV. It'll definitely qualify for XL. It will qualify for X. It'll qualify maybe for Select, but it, it, it doesn't mean that it'll qualify for SUV. Okay. You know what I mean? So, um, and then if you do get a 12, 2012 model, also understand that, you know, you have one year of driving of that car and SUV, and then the next year they kick it out, right? So, okay. like a safe bet to get the the full extent, the full mileage, the full use of a car would be a 2014 or a 2015, uh, whatever you want to go. If Whether you want to go Yukon, Tahoe, Suburban. Uh, Escalade is only really worth the investment if you are going to go and, and set up an LLC and get yourself a state limo license. Uh, because that, that car is just is, is insane for like high-end clients. They love it. They, they just love to be seen. In an escalator. Well, the, the Impala does well. It's yeah. just if I can get, I just have to work the areas where I can get more select rides. And I know North Scottsdale would probably be that area. Well, you mentioned um, you mentioned something which is absolutely correct. If you working that very early shift, you know you will you will pick up a lot of um, airport rides at the same time. I mean that's the morning shift. Like let's say. 4.35 o'clock right through to 8 o'clock, right? You should get a few good hours in there with, with your vehicle. Um, the, other, the other thing is where you can't go wrong is if you look at all your big uh, sports venues, you know, your, your, the, the, the stadium for the Cardinals and, 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 and there's a couple of other big stadiums. Um, you look at the itinerary, the calendar of those events. Um, every single Uber and every single Lyft category will have a huge demand after those events. So if you could fill out your calendar with all the major events, uh, that is another nice way to keep that car busy. And then, um, you know, you'd have to stick around the, 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 the Scottsdale areas, I would say, you know, in, in, the, in the business areas, in the hotel areas, and specifically around resorts, bigger resorts, spas and resorts. Phoenix got a lot of very well-known resorts. Um, and that, you know, that's where you'd pick up your select rides. Uh, but, you know, select is a, uh, it, it's slowly, I'm not saying it's dying out. You know, there is still, uh, there's still a huge market for it. But um, people are looking at, like, what is the cheaper alternative? It was huge when it came out initially. Uh, right. But but um, it's, it's sort of fading in the numbers. So it's um it would be great if you could get a car that can fit into multiple categories and then it, the, you'd at least you're safe you know right yeah people love this car i mean it's the they all black but the leather interior to fully load it um it looks like a super black car one time it was super black and but that's awesome and did you um did you also get that into any lift categories it's in lift they won't put it in like the premium for some reason i don't know why huh interesting they should I mean, it's got yeah, leather. Yeah, they really should. Uh, uh, Even one of my uh, passengers put a, when he, um, you know, gave me a the feedback, you know, like excellent. My rating is four point nine eight. Yeah, that's hot. Nineteen rides. Yeah. Um, and he even said it on the on the feedback. He was like, "That car really should be in Premier. It's a beautiful car." You know, yeah. I always ask for the car water and and mints and stuff for my passengers. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, I, I would, you know, try again if you can. Uh, I'll, I'll try again and again. You, 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 you sometimes just hit on that lucky person that puts it in, you know, because um, in, in the Uber industry, they call it a force in or a force out. If you want to force in a category, if you use those, if you use that verbiage with Uber, they know that you've gone and done your homework, right? Because it's, it's only wording that the management uses, um, you know, but with Lyft, I don't exactly know what they they call call it, but you know you could you could you could uh, you could try through a few channels and maybe even write to them in San Francisco, call their their phone line, try through the app several times, and say, um, you know, I, I I bought this vehicle thinking it would be uh, um, be put into Premier. I I really need this category, you know. Um, there's no reason why they shouldn't do it. It just doesn't make sense. Um, and like you said, it's, it's all about who you end up talking to. Exactly. I do not like going to up in Phoenix or in Tempe. Now, you get yeah, now, uh, question, do you do you get a lot of business cards out? No, I just went to um, had them printed at Vista Print. I'm just waiting for them to send them to me. 
Okay. Did you did you um did you put the a picture of your vehicle or the picture of you so that they know yes that's the guy that drove me? Did or did you just put your personal details on there? No, I put a picture of the vehicle. Okay. Um, and and, a, and and not a picture of 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 you. Okay. Has my picture, one okay. Okay. Um, just because it, you know, when they they very visual, if, if you know, when the people know, yeah, that this car. Oh, I remember that guy. He drove me. Yes, that was the car. If they can see, you know, the face and the car, it it just clicks better. And um, and then you just promote the when 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 they when you feel like you've got a good ride and and you have a great communication going. Then you could say, oh, by the way, if you ever need a longer trip or something like that, or if, if you need me last minute, he, here's my number. Um, the other thing is to attach that business card to like, you know, those free magazines that you get. Um, you can put them in the back seat. You could just attach them, those social magazines. They, they hand them out free at certain locations in Scottsdale. You just attach that to the card, uh, to the magazine. And then the person sitting in the back sees it right in front of them. They say, is this your card? Yeah, you're welcome to take one. In that way, they they more soliciting you versus you soliciting them. Right. You know, uh, it, it, it gradually adds up to a lot of good repeat clients. I can tell you that. Uh, okay. What else? You know, I mean, yeah, I think that early morning shift sounds promising. Calendar business cards and I mean you should be able to keep that car um, busy and then really push and see if you can get it into that extra category okay I'll definitely do that uh, is there anything else there that that uh, that you had questions on or that you feel no, like no not right now that was pretty much it um, your ratings are high the, the early morning since I'm off on my full time job tomorrow I'm going to try to early morning up in um, North Scottsdale how it works for today and 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 take take several screenshots uh, on uber and lyft i don't know if you have the passenger app downloaded but but sort of see every 30 minutes what's going on you know take one at you know when when you start 4 30 take one at 5 5 30 6 6 30 just see how the how the patterns um change you know um the 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 prime prime time on on lyft and then the and then the uber so just see see how the patterns emerge in your area um, that that could play quite an instrumental role down the road as far as deciding when and where to be in the mornings. Um, if you do do an airport drop-off, I would highly encourage you to stay at the airport and try and get the next outbound. You know, uh, airport's always a, a good guaranteed business. Um, and then, you know, if you have other questions, just text me, text them on over. But I think I think you should do fairly well, and I mean your ratings are super high, so you're doing everything right on that side. It's just getting more business, right? All right, exactly. Cool, cool. Okay, exactly. good, right. good. Appreciate it. My name's Jay Johnson. Thank you, and bro. If I have any questions out there, yeah, just yeah, absolutely. Text over, and then you know sometimes when I'm driving, I'll just you know when I'm done with a trip, I'll just text you or get back to you, and then you know we'll just chat about the next thing, whatever it is. All right, I appreciate that. Cool. You're welcome. Have a great day, huh? Take care. Bye bye then. Bye. So that's a that's a gentleman um, from Chantley. He's starting his day off in uh, North Scottsdale because he 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 owns a select. He pretty much figured out that's the best way to start off. He's obviously trying to increase his business. As you heard, we went over a couple of uh, easy factors that you, him, anyone can do to 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 accelerate the business. Right. The, the, Pretty much no-brainers. He's adding a whole new time slot in the morning. Should do him well. He's got good stuff on board. He's got waters and mints. He, he has a nice vehicle. He's getting compliments on his vehicle. He's very, very talkative, great personality. Therefore, 4.98, that goes without say. And um, we, we wish him well. We hope he gets a whole lot of extra trips in. I hope, I hope to hear from him again. And I certainly enjoyed the conversation. I always learn. Every single phone call that I do... I learn a little bit more and I love interacting with the people, love communicating, you know, if, if I can enrich in their lives in some little way, even if it's in the tiniest way, I've done my deed for the day. Drive safe.